Welcome back to Rocco-chan. We have defeated Forest Man. And what do leaves be? Well, uh, obviously lightning. Okay, no. Well, everyone knows what happens if you suck a bunch of stuff into a leaf turbine. I don't. Well, as shown in Mega Man 2, aka the most realistic and timeless game of all times. So this okay. level is based a lot around these little fan things, and the most important thing to realize in the beginning is that holding jump messes with them. Oh. Okay. Jump higher. Does holding up as well do something? No. Don't oh. think it is entirely obvious, but you get used to it really quickly, or you die a lot. But it's fine as a gimmick, as were the vines. Yeah. And I wouldn't know how to do it any better. Though there's really not something you can do that wouldn't make it really gamey unless, like, you put up a yeah. sign or something. Melee weapons, awesome! I really like this weapon, if I remember correctly, because it is a melee weapon that deals tons of damage. Like a yep. shot. You sacrifice the range, but you kill everything. Yeah, plus it can hit at odd angles, so if something's trying to rush you, it's much easier to hit. Those birds look kind of cool when they're turning around. I like that sprite. Sprite work in general is really good, especially for a fan game. There have been some dorky looking ones, but all of this is incredibly solid. You know, with the dashing and the ponytail and the short range green melee weapon, it reminds me of some. Thing, but I don't know what. Roll? Ah, sure, must be. Yep. So Beetlejit just works like item 2. Though, you get a lot. I think you might get a bit more of it. So do you get hurt if you come in contact with the fans or not? No, you don't get hurt. You just get pushed back. Okay. Also, be careful. Hmm. <laughs> This is where the bullshit starts, but it's not really bullshit, it's just hard. <laughs> you just gotta start figuring how it works. The bullshit's a little later. Definitely. Now the difficulty is also fine. Well, how many tries did that take you to get through? One. Okay. Yeah, I think they, they place the enemies cleverly, so you have to dodge in different ways and not just figure out one tactic and that's it. And um, so they have enough health, but not too much health to really get annoying. There are a few surprises you can see coming though, so overall this is pretty well done and well layered and yeah. um, pretty much fun all the time. Since you uh, edited it out, how generous are the checkpoints? Uh, this is a checkpoint. No, 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 but on the, on the last one, how, how far did... This is the checkpoint for the level. Oh, there's only one? Well, there's the boss one, and then there's the level one. Uh, yeah, the checkpoints could be improved, I agree. So you have to go through the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it's not long. The game's not that long, so... It's not as bad as it could be. Do you have to let go of jump when you're going in those opposite ones, or else it, yes, like, actually it enhances you do. them? Yeah, I thought so. Usually, even if you're holding it, you can still get through it, you just have to have made a good jump. I'm not a fan of these arrangements, mostly because dying just will take you, uh, will kill you instantly. Uh, uh, making a mistake will kill you instantly, I mean, that is, eh, I'm not fond of that. This is cool, though. Yeah, it's a little annoying because the clouds actually cover over stuff, so you'll actually miss it. Like with the birds. But mm -hmm. maybe that's part of the challenge? I don't know. Eh, sometimes it doesn't really feel fair, like that bird on the top. I saw it. I don't know why you didn't. Oh yeah, jump to the right for any tank. That was really cool. I don't think I've seen this before because the end of the stage exasperated me too much. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said that this beetle was better, but apparently he doesn't... It's an <laughs> artifact of programming that area. Okay. Or maybe they think that you would uh, be tempted to take the people backwards and prevent that. So you don't kill yourself. Mm. Uh. So anyway, this is Jetman. He has sort of three attacks. In that he has a dive. Does it a few times. He shoots missiles from either the bottom or the top. And if he's on the bottom, he can also shoot missiles directly at you instead of just up. He was about to do it there and then died. Hmm. Huh. That's not that climactic. Still a pretty good boss. I mean, you had the weakness, but... Yeah. And he gives us a pretty good weapon, too. 
always a stereotype of girls with pink. Um, maybe this is just a very... It's like, just a standard red. It didn't look very different from the gem. I was kidding. She doesn't know what to think.